Hi, I'm John with Platinum Tools, and most of you know me as Papa John the Tool Man. And that's right, I'm a tool man. What I mean by that is I'm not a test guy. I'm learning, but really for the net prowler that we're going to talk about today, I have George here. George, hi, and everyone. Uh, say hi to George. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to learn some things myself about the net prowler. Uh, George, now, We've had the cable prowler, what, about more, year, more than a year, right? About yeah, about a year, a year and a half right now. A year and a half, yeah. cable prowler. And I know the cable prowler, I've used it myself. It's a great tester. And basically, some of the things that stand out about the cable prowler, what would you say those are? Well, the, the key features of the cable prowler that's different from the net prowler, and you can see that they're, they look very much alike if you've seen the cable prowler. And the cable prowler doesn't have this black face here. But the cable prowler is a cable tester, but it also measures PoE voltage on a line. It measures the length of a cable. It measures the length to a fault on the cable. And it also does um, uh, link status and link capability, meaning that if, it, if your port is set up for 10, 100, or 1 gigabit, uh, it will also tell you if it's half or full deplex. So one of the things that I loved about the cable prowler is the fact that uh, I can test a live line. I plug into a live network and go to work. Yeah. And uh, now the net prowler, it, from my understanding, it does everything the cable prowler does and then does more. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> what more does it yeah, do? Yeah, it adds the additional capability to identify, monitor, and troubleshoot LAN issues. So once you have, once you make sure that your cable is properly terminated and that there's nothing wrong with it, then you can connect it to your network and test the port capabilities um, from this tester instead of dragging the laptop around. Wow, okay. Well, what we're going to do is I guess we'll start by, uh, there's basically three important segments. Mm -hmm that George is going to cover in the net prowler. So let's get ready and we're going to cover segment one and that is okay George so let's go into that first segment uh, land testing which is local area network mm -hmm. and, and show us what uh, yeah what do we do what are you, why we do it the purpose of uh, land testing your local area network is just to make sure that your your switch that your cable's connected to is configured so you can uh, communicate with the other devices on the network. Okay, so what we first do in turning it on is that we come over here, there's three icons here on the screen. The first two we know about because that's common on the cable prowler. The third one over here is our network discovery icon. Okay. Now we can select that by hitting the return button here in the center, or we can hit this third button, uh, the soft button here. I'll just do the center button. Now what you're seeing is a DHCP discovery test. So it's gone out, it's looked at the port, and what we find is that we have the IP address of the device, the net mask, and the DS DNS server. So that tells us that we're properly configured, at least to talk to the network from this device. Okay. okay. The next step is what we call our device mapping. And you do that by selecting the uh, magnifying glass, it's the soft button here. And it's the fourth button from the right. So we click that. And now searching through every port that is connected to the switch. So these, these are rattling off all these IP addresses. Wow. Exactly. Oh, and then we get the names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some oh. of you see the list that shows the device name, what, uh, what has been named, and the IP address after each one. Wow. Okay. That's important to know because you really want to make sure that devices you expect to see are on there. Okay. So once it's settled down from this list, we can move down and let's say we wanted to ping a device. Now that, that excites a lot of installers when they, they hear that we can ping something because typically, again, in order to ping a device, you've had to drag around a laptop. So let's just pick one here. 
we'll, we'll call it, uh, okay, we'll pick this one here and we'll select that. And you see that? It shows the details of that device. It and shows. That's, that's Lanny's office. Mm -hmm. And that's her IP address and mm -hmm. the Mac, and you got the Mac address. And the Mac address. Wow. Okay. So now we can go back to the list. And in this list, here's the exciting part. If we want to ping um, Lainey's computer, right. see how the pointer is pointed at it in the uh -huh. list? Right. So now we click uh, or we press the button that has this uh, computer screen with the radio lines emitting from it. Okay, we ping it once and it shows the IP address. Hit it again and it starts pinging and you see wow, what the response is? Wow. Yeah. And that's going to her office and back. Yes. In two milliseconds. Yeah. Wow. So two milliseconds, is, that means it's pretty fast and it's what we expect because we have a pretty quick network here. Okay. If it's anything more, let's say it, it shows 40 milliseconds and you know there's something definitely wrong. Got it. Okay. So uh, that is pretty much the, the key features you want to do for your local area local network area testing. Network. Yeah. So that's the local area network, the LAN. And then our next segment now is going to be the WAN. And I am told that means wide area network. Okay, and now we're doing WAN testing, wide area network. George? Okay. Well, so we just finished local area network. Now we want to establish that we can access the internet. Okay. Um, and again, doing it all from a hand tester instead of having to lug around your laptop. So the first thing we do, we're back at the main menu, mm -hmm. okay? We select this button that says, that, that shows a, a link chain and the, the word PoE next to it. So we select that, okay? And what it does is it does a standard link test to determine what our port capabilities are. Well, from this screen, you then select this icon on the far left that shows um, like a check and an RJ45 jack. Okay. Okay. So that's like a checking the port. We select that and it goes into a DHCP test. And do you remember what DHCP is? Yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, discovery. Dis yeah. Discovery something protocol. It's a uh, it's actually dynamic host oh. configuration protocol, and that's yeah. where your IP addresses get assigned. Okay. So now it's going through the test, and once we can show that we have our DHCP uh, complete, our router, our DNS, and our DNS URL test done, then we can go to hit one of these buttons on the bottom. So you see all the check marks here? Right. That shows right. completed? Okay. So now and that... You, and they all have to be checked off then? Yeah. Typically they all the have internet. to be checked out. Well, now, if it doesn't do it, then you go back and you try again. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And then it should start going through all this test. So it should show, again, the DHCP, the router, the DNS local test, a DNS URL, and a port local. And it will show the IP addresses for for the DNS server. Okay, so now that we're here, we have a choice of selecting LLDP, which is Link Layer Discovery Protocol. That's a standard across all networking devices. Okay, the uh, the next one is CDP, which I know is, that one. What's that? Cisco. That's right, Cisco Discovery Protocol. Oh, that's yeah. a that's a proprietary protocol for Cisco devices. So you can select one one or um, or the other and this will tell you the configuration of, of your switch so that's pretty powerful uh, typically that's as deep as you need to go just to make sure that your your uh, network device is configured properly okay so once we determine that our local area network is set up properly and our wide area network is set up properly you may want to do something else like checking the speed of your cable hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, George, you're going to show us throughput and connectivity testing, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I mean, that's very important for a lot of installers and in that once they have everything set up, the customer may be asking, well, what kind of throughput am I getting on this line? So to do that, 
we actually need to use a computer. Uh, this can be your laptop or it could be a desktop, but it's basically using the companion software that, that uh, is included with your NetProwler. Now, um, it's downloadable from our website at uh, tinermtools.com. So once you download it and you install it, then the first thing we need to do is to come into the, uh, the tester and you recall um, when we had it in the network discovery screen, there's this word down here that says TCP and UDP. Okay, when you press that, it brings up a screen which has just three items on it. And that's the, the port, the tester IP, and this funny little animate, an animated picture that looks like a light bulb. And what we're going to do is that we're going to use that and we're going to put it into our application so that we can do this test. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to have to to log into this. And while George is logging in, I just want to remind you, uh, and the same goes for your cable prowler, uh, be sure you register your warranty card. Oh, that's, uh, that's a very good Because point. when you register, we get your email, and that gives us the ability to keep you in touch with any update and send you these updates, and letting you know there's an update available to upgrade, because this is software. And off and on, they'll be doing some upgrades on it to make it even a better tester or fix that little glitch or whatever. So stay in tune with your emails and fi uh, register that card. Thank you. Okay, so now what I'm showing is the, uh, the application is called the Net Prowler Controller. And this is the same uh, interface or the same software uh, that's used in the Cable Prowler as well. They're, they have their own versions, but this specific version is for the cable prowler. Okay. And there's two things that we can do here. The first tab is called a control tab. Okay. And again, you see that light bulb, just as we have in our in our tester. Now, the two things that we need to make sure of is that there's a port here, a port number. Right. 14046. Okay. And that's what it says here on the screen. And then we also have a network tester IP address. 10.0.1.194. Okay, so that we see that that's different in the app, and you actually can change that so that it matches the IP address of the tester. So let me do that, 194. Okay, it matches. And once we have that, uh, both those numbers matching, we click on connect. Okay, and instantly, what do you see on the tester? Oh, I see a remote IP address, or is that an IP address? Yeah. No, it's, uh, okay. Yeah, remote it's a IP. remote address. So, in fact, the computer or your laptop is now as, uh, acting as a remote. Okay. So it shows that the two are connected. So what can I do with it now? Well, the first thing, and, and this is just to establish that we have connectivity between the two devices. We can move this slide roll over here to the left and right, Oh, wow. A dimmer. Yes. See how that light bulb is dimming? Yeah, it's going out on me. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's getting brighter. Now it's getting brighter. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that tells me that we definitely are talking to each other. Yes, we have connectivity. Okay. Okay. And then the second thing you can do now is the throughput test. So we click on the throughput tab, and there are a couple of options here. Uh, on the transfer layer protocol, we can either select TCP or UDP. Uh, we'll leave it TCP. Okay. We can introduce a delay, and what that does is that it emulates or uh, it, any delay that you may have in your current network. Okay. So it's like introducing noise. Okay. Make it a real world. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So we also have the size of data of the data packet that we uh, we can send. So we can adjust that. Right now it's at 200 kilobytes. We can adjust that up to a gigabyte if you want. Wow. It just so it will take a, a longer time to test. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to change it to something smaller like 100. And looks like we're connected. Let's hit start here. So you see that progress bar go across? Yeah, pretty fast. Yeah. So that the first part of that test was the PC to the net prowler. And then the second part was from the net prowler to the PC. And both ways, it's pretty fast. We get about 
half a megabit, half a megabit per second. Okay. Okay. So that that tool is, is important because you can then compare it with the throughput on your other uh, cables in the house. And if it's if it's off, then you could look at it and and maybe reroute the cable and try to figure out where there may be noise being introduced in your in your environment. So that's the the the, the third key feature they can do with the net prowler. Wow. You know, as a whole package, it's an excellent solution. Uh, first of all, you have your standard uh, cable testing capabilities. You can also do um, port testing capabilities to to see um, if you're set up for uh, uh, connect same connectivity, whether it's a hundred or a gigabit uh, mm -hmm. connection and full or half duplex. You can check PoE voltages on the line if you're if you're installing cameras and such to make sure you have enough voltage. It's a very complete solution if you're just wanting to test your cables and then once you've tested your cables you're checking your networks. Great. So that's the net prowler.